this video I'm going to show you how to use the Charles Sketch Photoshop action. So the way that the action works is you open your photo, you simply brush over your side with the color and just play the action. And here's the effect that the action creates. So as you can see what the action does, the action transforms the photo into the sketch effect and the results that you get are fully layered so there is a lot of options for customizing the results and you can also colorize the sketch with your original photo colors if you like and you can invert the sketch from dark sketch on the light background to light sketch on dark background right and the action is also made so that every time you run the action you will get a unique result even if you use the same brushed area so you will also get unique sketch textures variation right so let me just close these windows now so after you open up your photo before you start using the action there are just a few things you should check just to make sure that the action will run without any errors so the first thing you should check is that your photo is the background layer so it should be called the background and have this little lock icon and if you have anything else just go to layer new and choose a background from layer and then click on this menu icon over here and go to panel options and just make sure that the add copy to copy layers groups is checked then go to the image mode and make sure your photo is the RGB color mode edge bit canal. Also you can check the image size from here. So for best results you should use the images that are around from 20, uh, 25 to 40, 4500 pixels wide or high. Alright. Now to load the action go to window, actions, click on the menu icon right here, load actions, and just choose the action from a folder according to a Photoshop version. Select the action file choose load and the action will appear here in your action panel then you can just hit the binary keyboard to select the brush tool right click anywhere inside the canvas click on the gear icon over here choose load brushes and again just choose the brushes file from a folder according to a photoshop version you select the brush file you choose load and the brushes will appear here in your brush spell so now what you have to do is to go to layer new layer to create a new layer and name it brush and it's very important that you spell this correctly so all letters lowercase which is okay then select the brush tool pick a soft brush and you can choose any color here color pick doesn't matter and simply brush over your subject just like this right so I already done the brushing before so I'm just gonna open up my PSD file here it is so here I have finished the brushing so what's important here is that you brush over your photo while the brush layer is selected. So you need to have this color fill on this brush layer. Right, so before you're playing the action you should have two layers here in your layers panel. Your original photo layer or the background layer and the new layer that you just created uh, name it brush with a color fill. Right. So what you can also do here is if you want to add more space on any side of your photo you can just go to image canvas size you can check the relative option here and now simply increase the canvas size if you want because it's always better to have a little bit more space you can easily crop the image size later so how this works is you if you want to add more space for example this right side you click here so you choose the direction goes from left to right and you just increase the width for how much you want for example I'm just going to type here the 500 pixels choose OK and you will expand the canvas size Alright, so you can expand the canvas size if you want, and after the action is finished, you can then just crop the image if you have too much empty space. Alright, so all you have to do now is to just select the troll sketch action here inside the folder and click play. And I'm going to fasten the video here and then I'm going to get back as soon as the action is finished, and then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how can you customize the effect. Alright, so the action has just finished, so I'm just gonna close the actions panel for now, and I'm going to expand a little bit this layers panel. So the first thing you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just quickly close down all these folders. So how can you quickly do that is to just hold control and alt buttons for PC or command option for Mac. And while the troll sketch folder is selected, just click on this arrow here. And that way you're going to close down all the folders. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hide all the layers. And then I'm going to start any one by one from the bottom because in that way you better understand how each layer works, how it affects the design and how can you customize it. So the first layer that we got here is the original photo layer or the background layer. Next what we got here is the background color and I'm just going to turn on the background textures as well. So what you can do is you can double click on this layer thumbnail and you can use any color that you like for the background. Right? 
you can also click on this arrow here and double click on the gradient overlay so if you want you can here change the opacity or you can hide this effect if you like right so next we got is the, are the background textures so when you open the folder you find three textures here okay so what you can do is you can change the opacities of these textures to change the opacity of the layer you can just click on the vertical opacity and drag it aside or click on this letter here and then just move this slider left or right all right and what we got here is the background texture to brightness layer so I'm just gonna turn on the sketch layers for now so you can see how these textures affect actually the look uh, of the sketch so you can change the visibility of the sketch by changing the opacity of these layers so what I'm going to do is just gonna double click here and there's some default settings made here by the action and what you can do is you can drag these sliders to make any changes to the shadows, midtones, highlights right so with these three sliders here you can boost the shadows with this one this one is going to boost the highlights, this one affects the midtones and these two sliders here are for fading so this one is going to fade the shadows, this one is going to fade the highlights right so I'm just going to fade uh, the shadows like this and Alright, just like that. Okay, so what you got here is the outline sketch. Right, so these are the outlines uh, and they're visible mostly over the subject area and just a little bit outside of the subject area. We're just gonna, we're gonna check that. So what we got here is the outline sketch one and we got the uh, second outline sketch layer it says sharp here in the brackets so this layer here is giving a much sharper lines than this one here All right and what you can do is again you can change the opacities of these layers and what you can also do is you can select this layer mask and you can open the properties panel and here you can change the density of the layer mask so when it's set to 100% these outlines will be visible only inside your subject area or the brush area that you defined right so if you disable the layer mask the outline sketch will be visible all over the photo all right so what you can do with these density slider here is you can adjust how much you want that outline sketch is visible outside of your subject area all right and this example, I'm just going to hide the outline sketch layer one. I'm going to use this one here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to boost its opacity a little bit, and just going to I'm going to drop down the density to reveal a little bit more the outline sketch outside of the subject or the brush area. Right, just like that. So next, what we got here is the subject sketch. So as you can see, the effect is fully layered. And what you can do is you can hide all the layers, then start to them on one by one and see how each of these layers is going to affect the look of the sketch. So each of these layers have a different uh, sketch. So what you can do here again is you can change the opacities of these layers. All right. You can always change the opacity to zero and then to 100 to see exactly how this layer affects the look and you can then just adjust the opacity according to that. And the 
last layer. Okay, and what you can also notice is that these two layers here at the top are the white chalk. All right, and all these layers here have the layer mask, so they're visible over the certain areas of your photo. If you just alt or option click on the layer mask, you can see exactly so wherever you have the white color, this layer is visible. All right, and again, what you can do is you can open the properties panel and now just uh, change the density to adjust how much you wish that this sketch layer is visible outside of this area here. All right. So when you increase the density, you're making it less visible outside of this area here. As you drop the density, you're going to start revealing that layer more and more uh, outside of this uh, white area here in the layer mask. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly adjust these for all the layers. Just like that. And what you can also do is that if there is any uh, sketch uh, area that you wish to remove, some sketch detail, what you can do is you can select this layer mask here, you pick a soft brush, set program color to black, and simply brush or the sketch. However, if you select this main layer mask, you're going to remove any of the sketch layers of these sketch layers wherever you brush. Now, as these layers have changed density, if you brush with the black into this layer mask, you're not going to uh, completely remove that layer. So if there is some specific part of any of these layers that you wish to remove, you select that layer, you go to layer, new, and choose a group from layer. And then just add the layer mask to this folder, to this group, and then simply brush with the black color wherever you wish to remove this layer. And then you can further adjust the density if you wish of this layer mask over here, all right? And you can do the same for the outline sketch. So if there is any outline that area that you wish to remove, some outline detail, as this layer have changed things, you can either select this main layer mask here or add this layer into a folder, like I did with this layer here, and then just brush into the mask, the layer mask of the folder to remove this layer on any area. All right? So what you can also do is you can create a new layer here inside this folder. You can pick a brush tool and you can use any of these chalk brushes, set foreground color to black or white depending on which color you wish that the chalk uh, of your brush is, and you can simply brush to add more detail wherever you like, All right? So what we got next here is the subject details folder, All right? So we open the folder, find three layers here. So the first one here is the reveal detail. And this one here says shading details. And here we got the layer, it says reveal more details, brush one into the mask. So what you can do is, you can select this layer mask, pick a soft brush, set program color to white, and simply brush to add more details if there is any area where we should add more details. You can also use some of these uh, chalk brushes and brush to add more detail. Just make sure you select these uh, layer mask over here and simply brush just like that. All right. Just gonna brush a little bit or here, so what you can do again is you can then adjust the opacity of this layer. All right, so what we got next is the overall brightness to layer. You can double click on this layer thumbnail and make any further adjustments if you like, or just keep it default. In this case, I'm just gonna keep this layer default, All right? 
And the next we got is the overall contrast. So how does the contrast is to change the opacity? All right. And here we got the invert colors layer. So I'm going to skip over this uh, layer and I'm going to get back after I finish with customize this effect. Then I'm going to customize the inverted, uh, I'm going to invert the colors and customize that result, all right? So what we got here is the overall brightness one. So you double click here. And here again, you have these five sliders to adjust the brightness the same as we have for these texture uh, layer here. So you can boost the shadows, you can boost or fade the midtones, you can boost the highlights, and you can fade the shadows or fade the highlights. Right? So I'm just going to boost the shadows a little bit. Right, just like that. And the next we got here is the vignette layer. So what you can do is you can change the opacity here. I'm just gonna drop it down. And next we got the uh, folder says colorize sketch. So when you turn it on, you're going to colorize the sketch with your original photo colors. And when you open the folder, you'll find here the original photo colors layer. All right, and here we got the expand subject colors. So if you turn that layer on, you're going to expand the colors of your subject or of your brush area and expand a little bit outside of your subject area. Right? And you also got the overall vibrant saturation layer here, so you can double click on this layer thumbnail, and using these sliders, you can adjust the vibrance and saturation. Right? So in this example, I'm not going to use this layer. And lastly, what we got here is the auto sharpening. So, if you made any changes to the sketch, so you have, for example, removed some details, changed the opacity, added some details and other, you need to create this layer again. So what I'm going to do is just going to select these, have the sharpening action, and just click play. All right. So and the action will just update the sharpening. And how can you now adjust the sharpening? Is you can change the opacity here. All right. Make a bit default. And the last layer we got here is the brush layer that we have made at the beginning of the video. So if you just remove this layer uh, and run the action again, as I have mentioned at the beginning of the video, you're going to get unique result. So every time you run the action, you will get unique result and unique sketch and drawing variation. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this layer and I'm going to turn on the invert colors layer. So as you can see what this layer does, it's going to invert the uh, sketch from the dark sketch on light background to light sketch on dark background. So now what I'm going to do is just going to double click on this layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost the highlights just like this. All right and now what you need to do is if you invert the colors you need to create this layer again, the sharpening layer. You can make any other changes here if you like. I'm just going to keep all settings default and just going to update the sharpening again. All right, here it is. You can again colorize the sketch even if you have the inverted colors if you like. All right, so these are our final result. We can just check the quickly before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. All right, so I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching.